Welcome to the most must see wrestling YouTube channel. Today I'm 2 D G 3. And now we're here and we're back at it again with another uh, UFC video with the uh, CM Punk becoming the best in the world UFC 3 career mode series. I hope you guys enjoyed the last three. I think they were. Um, and I haven't uploaded in a while, like a week. And that's my fault. But I'm here and we're back at it again. Now, let's start off by looking at our first fight offer so in the last video it's going to be better about there we beat our la we beat our rival who was some nobody we beat him we beat him up real quick and now we're here we're gonna oh wait let's check our newest rival I forgot to check that so our newest rival is pascal cross i think that's how you say his name pascal cross and that's our new rival um he doesn't look he looks like a chopper as well um we're just we're basically fighting nobodies, but here we're gonna look and we're gonna choose our next fight. So who should we fight? I feel like we should fight this guy. We already fought this guy before, so let's just fight him again. You know, sixty something striking ain't that good. We don't have the best striking ability, but we have the best ground ability. So we always use that in our advantage. So I I feel like last time I I got a new gym. But I do not have enough. Oh no, yeah, this is our new gym. Crossbeat MMA. So we got a new gym, but our we can't train there. I was looking forward to training there today. But our opponent belongs to this gym, so we're unable to train here, which is annoying. I want to try it out. But let's let's go into our... So since our opponent is in the gym, the new gym that we ha that we got, let's go and train in um the judge. No, let's go... Actually, let's go to the boxing gym. I want to go back to the boxing gym. Oh, we only got three weeks to train though. This is annoying. But I want to go back to the boxing gym. Since we're prospect, we probably get some new moves. So, I guess we get new opportunities, new things to, you know. Let's see what we can learn. So, we got... Let's see. I All I want to get is a freaking um high kick. But we, we still can get that. We got a lead uppercut, lead hook, lead body uppercut, lead body hook. Let overhand. Oh, overhand is really good, so I'm gonna get that. Actually, yeah, let's go. Let's go to this guy, Alan Juban. Let's go ahead and train with him. Spar up a bit. All right, stand up only this time. I need you to knock your opponent down. All right, so I gotta get. I gotta knock him out. Pick it up. Perfect let's shot. See. Let's put him down. Oh, he's he's gonna knock me out. I haven't played UFC in a while. I've been playing God of War. So I'm not. I guess I'm not used to to this. Push yourself. Gotta get used to it now. You gotta do more Hit him with the one twos. Let's go. I, I rocked him, but he didn't do nothing. One twos, leg kick, ready to damage, body kick. Come on, hit him with the overhand, man. Nice one. Keep it up. Oh. Close that knockdown. I want to see more out of you. Oh, there we go. We knocked him down. Nice work. Cool. So we knocked him down, now we got lead body hook, lead uppercut, and a lead overhand. Let's apply those moves. Alright, so I just finished applying those the moves. So let's, let's just, um, you know, get a bit of fight hype, uh, you know, some popularity. And let's train up a bit. Um, what should we train up with? And we should do... Our stamina is pretty high. That's actually pretty good. Let's, let's increase our striking up to 63. And we lost a bit of footwork. Which is annoying. I don't know why that always happens. You always, you always like train and then you lose some, something. Let's again do some fight hype. And now we cannot spar, so I guess we gotta spar tomorrow. And let's increase our grappling. And we're allowed to increase something. Uh, the footwork. Uh, let's do. Oh, 88 stamina. Uh, let's do that. So now we're moderate fitness, so I guess we're gonna fight hype and then go ahead and spar. So promote the fight. Uh, 20. And let's go ahead and spar this guy. We gotta get him in the Multhe clinch. What's this? Alright, so the hint is O2 and R2 will block all knees in Multhe in Multhe position. Try to transition up. So I guess this guy likes to hit us with a tight clinch a lot. So I guess we gotta block that. When he's gonna fight, when we're gonna, when we're gonna uh, fight him. Alright, so let's. Let kick work. work quick. 
Oh, he's kind of going in. He's a bit annoyed that I beat him freaking two times already. I think that's how many times I beat him. Ah, uh, one twos, one twos. Over, overhands. Oh, we got two overhands now. Oh, I missed the two-run punch. Steampunk is a bit slow and it's striking. It's annoying. Oh, he's gonna... He's rocked me. Alright, let's take him down. Oh, he doesn't want to get taken down. Alright, let's put him in the side control. No! Alright, let's restart the, the, the sparring. Alright. So, I restarted it. Because I was gonna lose. Oh, there we go. We knocked him. We rocked him. In the beginning, we even already rocked him. Ah, right, let's break that. Because we already know he's going to put us in the, in the clinch already. Then real quick, touch him up. Now break it, break it. And then, again. I guess that's an easy way to win. Just keep hitting him with overhand strikes. Next to the cage. Look, because then he goes down a lot. Uh, our fitness keeps going up, but not going up super fast. Oh, we knocked him down! I've knocked him down in sparring. Um, that. Oh no, yeah, we get to be starting. Never mind. That was an easy knockout. All I did was like get her next to the cage. I guess we should do that in our next. in the actual fight. Oh, look at that combo! Wait, come on, get up. No, it's gonna stay at modern fitness. That's annoying. Alright, so let's reach into calendar. Let's do a bit of fight hype. Um, to hype up the match. I guess I could just train a bit, but... Actually, yeah, let's, so let's promote it. Uh, predict the fight. Round 1, knockout. And let's train. So we, could, so we could just get the... You know. Let's increase our submission defense and grappling stamina. And now we're up to peak fitness. So let's go. So we're ready... We're hype up. We're peak fitness for our next fight. You see how much hype we've got. So it started off as low and it went up to medium. So not that much hype, but I've did the best I can. OA National. And now let's go to our next fight. what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It came as a shock to the MMA community when this fighter left his longtime gym recently. But that surprise was nothing compared to the reaction felt around the globe when he agreed to fight his longtime training partner in a compelling matchup that highlights this weekend's UFC card at Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. So apparently we're gonna face our trainer. Next, I've never heard that before. He's not a trainer. I don't even know who this guy is. Alright, so there's a way to wait fight. We're gonna face our trainer apparently. And CM Punk is coming out. Yep. Well good to see this young fighter. Man of the hour. Are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly, you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponents got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense. All right, so we got, so we won seven of our last fights. No uh, victory behind him, in a knockout. We are currently undefeated, and I did not beat the last days. bit. This guy is an outstanding wrestler, and what he wants to do here is avoid any striking confrontations, close the distance, grab a hold of his opponent, and bring the fight down to the ground where he should have an advantage. Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well so even a fighter with good takedown defense more often than not is not going to see this guy's shot come this guy has incredible takedowns the speed in which he delivers them and the power in which he executes them are world class so this guy basically has no perks look at that it's, it just said the same thing over and over again it said the same thing three times how does that make sense does not so he's apparently not good. Our tale of 
Let's see the tell the temple quick. CM Punk is 40. 6 1. And we've got the reach. We got the reach advantage and one weight. Uh, we got one pound advantage on him. Alright, so let's listen to Bruce, Bruce Buffer real quick. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? And we are underway. All right, ready to go for round one, and it's hard not to harken back to his last appearance. Oh! Now he's stacking him. Nice punch by CM Punk. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's got to be real careful about how he engages. Throws the left hand. Stacking him. Big body punch. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Lands the inside leg kick. Oh! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? He's got him hurt here. Whoa! And really starting to make these shots count. Oh, worked hard to get him. Oh! Alright, so I just realized that I was not commentating the entire time. It's my fault. But as you can tell, that match went actually pretty quickly. And I just realized that I was not talking, but I was not saying nothing of importance. That was my fault. But that was super easy. Just like in training, we took him down, we knocked him down, and then we just hit him with the overhead punch and not knocked him down. So, just like in training. Exactly. This exactly happened just against Barnes. So, let's see. Let's hear the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, C.M. So there's the man of the moment. All right, so on Twitter, we said that we were going to win by knockout in the first round, and that's exactly what we did. Super easy, super easy, super quick, easy peasy. We got more to give, more to deliver, and more. And we're ready to win. After this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. So that was our first fight. Now let's move on to our second fight. All right, so we got a text from Megan Levy here, saying that we proved that we proved ourselves in that fight. That was an easy piece of fight. Let's just be nice. So no nice reply, I guess. Who knows? All right, so I'm ready to choose my our next fight. Um, and we've got so and well besides this guy, we're not gonna fight this guy. He seems pretty good. So, so on these two uh things, we've got the advantage and grappling and stamina in both of them. So let's let's fight this guy. Yeah. Cause we've got two things on him, he only got one thing on him. But this guy has two things on us. So let's fight this guy, Nicholas Nicolas Van Der Meer. I don't know how you say his name. Let's accept the fight. Let's and you know, let's, let's fight him. Alright, so we got another tweet here. This time from our rival Pascal Pascal Cross saying big deal. Now I thought someone with a glass jaw not gonna happen in this next fight. So he's saying that we apparently faced a, a jabroni and we actually did. So I guess we gotta prove ourselves this time with this guy who we're gonna fight up next. All right, so I'm, I was looking at the um the new learning uh the new moves to learn, and apparently we got 
we've got a, a roundhouse kick, so we can learn that real quick. We got a roundhouse kick. This guy's gonna teach us how to do a roundhouse kick, and a body knee, uh, and we got a new, we could get a new perk. So this this is our new gym, the Crossbeat MMA that I've got last video. So let's see how good this gym is. So I finally got a roundhouse kick. So let's apply those moves real quick, and let's apply that perk. Um, finally, I get a roundhouse kick. So now our fights are gonna be even easier because the kicks are, the kicks do a lot of damage in this game. All right, so I just finished doing the training for our next fight. And I'm in 97% peak fitness. And I've increased our overhead punches. And now we're level 5 in overhead punches. So our overhands are crazy. And we got a fight head up to a high power, to a high um, high popularity, you know, thing. So let's, uh, let's go to our fight. We're home national. And let's see. Let's see if Punk could knock out his opponent. Oh, we've got a UFC minute here. I didn't notice. Let's see what Megan O'Leary has to say. And this is your UFC minute. As the fighters' wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. Every fighter who competes in the octagon will tell you that he will take a win by any means possible. But as one of the UFC's top strikers, this welterweight star is taking the judges out of the equation, as he has used fists and feet to finish each of his opponents during his winning streak by way of spectacular knockout. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here, we're at the Scott, Scott Hill Bank Arena. Um, well, Joe Rogan, this here is comes our opponent, this guy, Van, Van Der Meer the from the Netherlands. To see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup, really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack. Let's see what his perks are. He's a, he's a striker. He's won his six less. He's, he's won six out of his last fights, and he's lost two fights only in his career. So we we so Steve Punk has more experience than him. Because Steve Punk has more. I think he has nine fights. This is going to be ten. So we're getting up to ten fights in the UFC. So we got the experience edge over hit this guy who's a striker but so he's a striker and we're a grappler so oh, good to see this guy making the walk I'm just glad I don't have to fend off his chokes tonight this is a decorated Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner and a lot of guys in the UFC just not used to facing opponents on this level he's probably thinking right now how quickly can I get this fight all right so we got great endurance great ground and pound and we've won nine after last nine fights so we're undefeated finally where he belongs here in the octagon which is amazing we're undefeated we're so close to getting a championship fight control dirty boxing up against the cage and if he gets all right so let's skip all that we've already seen it let's see the tell tape real quick because this is a different opponent he's six three so he got the high advantage on his on us but we've got one inch of reach advantage over him so he's pretty much got he's got more you know he's got a bit of an edge on me so let's see this guy wants to do a fist bump he does and now let, let's let me show off those these uh these hicks real quick let's, let's do some quicks real quick oh all right he's already bleeding this guy isn't that good Alright, so here we go with round one, and you gotta be mindful right. of those overhand punches. I'm trying to do a bit of like. You know, it's a big part of his game plan every time out. Oh, that was a nice combo, but he blocked all of it. He's blocked all of those punches. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Alright, this guy isn't beating too much. He's a striker, bro. We're, we're like. Striking more than him. Oh, we've got him. We've got him. Oh, we, we just tagged him right there in the head kick. This guy isn't punching at all. Oh. There we go. We got him down. Now, easy PZ, easy win. Oh, no. He's getting up. Oh, we've gone down once again. That's it. That's it. It is. Let's go. That's probably the quickest fight ever. In the first round. One minute in. We've knocked our opponent out. 
Easy peasy for the win. Team Book is unstoppable. Let's see the uh well let's see the replay first. That overhand they're saying kick, but it was not a kick, it was an overhand punch. They're so dumb. I guess our kicks did do some damage, so I guess that's why it's important to have kicks. It did do a lot of damage. He barely even hit us. Like we we got him bloody super quickly in the beginning. And he barely touched us. And there he is after a the official decision. Alright, let's hear the the official decision real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout, C. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout. All right, so I've, here I've, I, I've predicted the fight saying that I was going to win by knockout in the first round, and that's exactly what I did. So let's continue. Let's see our let's see your stats real quick. I haven't seen those in a while. Let's skip that. So we're 91 longevity. So we got 91 percent. We got like 91 fights left. That isn't really that important because we, we basically just started. We got 47,000 fans. What well, we gained 47,000. We're in total of 374 fans, and we got 139 total money thousand dollars. So let's continue. Let's move on to our next. Fight. Oh, we've got a tweet here from Matthew Jen. Showing a bit of a replay here. Showing how we defeated this kid. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright, so we're back in the main hub. Now let's check our fight offers. Um, let's see who we're gonna fight for uh who is our last fight gonna be for today. So we got this guy, Alex Tovier. Oh, we're allowed to so now we're gonna face the big boys now. Oh, this guy is medium. Alright, so let's face this guy. Peter Jovo Bruff. Yeah, bro. So let's fight him and set the fight. And he's going to be our last fight for today. Right, so I just finished doing the training for our last fight of the evening. And I, f I feel like we've got super high puppet. Oh, wait. I said I didn't finish. So let's, let's just promote it real quick. So, but I feel like I've done pretty good at hyping up this fight. Pretty, uh, pretty good at promoting the fight. I've got... Well, let's run something real quick. I've got... I've, I've, I've increased the fight hype. The fight hype. Um, since the beginning, so and I've, I've like, I don't know, I feel like it's super high popularity. So let's, so let's um, let's learn a new move and then you know we, s then I do the fight. All right, now I finished officially the training for the last fight. Let's see, let's see uh, how much have we got. Oh, so close to very high, so close, but we got it up to high, which is good enough. Let's see if we got a. Uh, UFC minute here. Or are we just gonna move on to the fight? I do not know. Let's see. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight. All right, so we don't have a UFC minute, which doesn't really matter. So let's skip all that. Let's see the tell the tape. The man is 25, 6, 3, 170. So he's got the advantage because he's he's two inches he's two inches taller than me. All right. So let's not listen to Bruce Buffer because we already did. Well, it's a building that is this guy so wants to do a fist bump. All right. Fights. We are underway at oh, he's tagged us up right real quick. Whoa. Okay. Right, so here is the young contender ready to go for round one. And Joe, you got power, man. Can you get this guy a title fight? It's rare in UFC history to see a wow. Oh, we're gonna knock him down. Oh, look at this. All right. He, he's like up to the wall. He doesn't know what to do. He's a bit scared. The left hook hits home. He's getting tagged. Alright, he's not he's not leaving the cage. Let's keep him. Let's keep him. Well, yeah, let me try and keep him close to the cage. There we go, we knocked him down. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Alright, let's take him down. Alright, take him down. This is our first time we take him down in this um this video. I haven't checked down someone in, in a while. Wait, what's happening? No! Why did he get out? I didn't want him to do get out and he got out. Alright, let's try and win. Let's try and win. By ground and pound. 
is really pouring blood. Dude, these elbows are too slow, man. Oh, he's getting up. He's getting up. Oh, we got him down again. Alright, this guy is not doing well. He's down. Alright, let's go. With one tiny small punch. Wait, why they took away the Pepsi logo and CM Punk's arm? I just realized that. He took away the Pepsi logo. That's actually pretty funny. Of every doubt to try to stay in the fight, but too much force on the ground and pound here tonight. Did a nice job posturing up, maintaining position, and he made nearly every one of those shots count. All right, so we've beat him by ground and pound. It was super easy, super simple. This guy was super dumb. What a joke! For our last fight, let's listen to the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, C. Well, Alright, so we sure just won our last fight. Deep into the night after oh, with ground and pound action. Tonight. He told us before the fight he wanted to leave the judges out of Why is Van Der in the crowd? Exactly I don't know. But that was an e like I, I was trying to hit him hard, but it, he was just blocking. I don't know how I got knocked out with the super punch that I hit. I bet it barely hurt. I just pretty much hit him, like tapped him, and just got knocked out. So I guess we knocked him out. So let's skip this, skip that, and I hope you guys. So that was it for today. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did like it, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it, and tell me why in the comments below, so I can improve. Uh, please subscribe, click the bell, do all the good, good, good stuff. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.